Hi everybody, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. So for my persuasive speech, I will be persuading my audience that social media is a very terrible place and be, can be very terrifying uh, for young kids. Uh, also new users on social media, also sometimes teenagers. So social media is not a bad place, but the problem with social media is that there are many people out there who make it worse by saying certain things or doing some weird things on social media. So these days, most most social media includes a uh, type of scam links, uh, also dangerous things. Also, there are some videos slash uh, photos that could be very terrifying for a little kid that they shouldn't be saying is seeing. Of course, it should be censored. You know, social media censors, but you know they should they should just delete the video also uh so before i go any further my name is omar abdurrahman and today i'll be talking about how social media affects young kids out there uh, for example scam links why is social media bad so if you don't know what what is social media um also what are some safety tips for parents if if they're allowed they allow their kids little kids use social media um so for my introduction my introduction will show how people how bad social media and how terrifying uh, terrifying it is for young kids new users some teenagers so first things first what is social media so social media is a platform that will make you sh well, that that you make and that will share it to the public so they could see. So un unless you put it on private. Another thing is social media is a huge circle of websites and apps. For example, some of the apps are Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. There are many more. And some of the things, here are some of the things little kids or people can access social media on. And, and so first things first, a tablet. Another thing is a laptop. The most common one is a phone. Uh, that's the one that a lot of kids, a lot of people have a phone. So each social media app is different. So some of the social media apps, you could share photos or videos. Another thing about another one, another social media app, you could share uh, links to videos. So it depends which social media app you use. So this was according to the balancemb.com. So here are some social media scams, type of social media scams. So number one is hitting URLs. Uh, number two is punishing requests. Number three is hidden charges. Number four, cash uh, grabs. Uh, number five is chain letters. So this was according to uh, usnorton.com, top five scams, social media scams. Uh, so another so the thirdly the main thing why is social media bad for young kids so first things first the way they use social media um, the kids they don't understand they might click on something uh, they see how it's fun you know social they, they take it as a joke but they don't know what the, it could be it could affect uh, what the outcome of it is another thing is putting out there certain information for the public to see you know they might put something about their parents their cousins relatives that their parents don't want to see they don't want the public to see but a little kid doesn't understand that because he, he, he thinks it's a joke but he doesn't know that it could affect affect them or and him at the same time also posting information about themselves without thinking about it or that it, or, or it could be also false things and that could that could affect them because you never know putting something say you put okay maybe a little kid won't understand that so put so social security card he doesn't understand what if he takes a picture oh I got my social today or your license you know or passport some things you know kids don't understand I mean and of course a kid won't be holding that but you never know just saying so this was according to the the impact of social media for little kids 
So another thing, another uh, why social media is bad. Uh, uh, social media is an addiction for kids. Once they're on it, it's hard for them to get off. It's a lot of kids g can't get off of it. Uh, they're on it like 24-7. Also, being on social media for a period of time can cause really uh, mental health problems. <clears throat> a lot of problems. And that's a bad thing and that's very scary. So this was according to... Uh, www.raisinmarkkid.com uh, uh, raisin <clears throat> well, So lastly is Here are some safety tips uh, that, that parents can issue If they're going to let their kids use social media <clears throat> number, for, well, number one is Educate yourself about social media First, you know, research it What is it? Stuff like that Educate yourself Number two, establish an age limit for your ch child to start using social media. Uh, third is regularly check your child's uh, privacy settings to make sure they're on private. And also, fourth thing is keep your child's profile on private. Number five, make sure they're not posting any personal information. Number six is don't allow them to post a photo or a video that might cause something bad to happen to them. Number seven is make a good strong power passwords so no one gets on it. No one knows. Not, don't make it one two three four, so no kid so no no kid try to log in. Number eight, make sure you you see who your child's accepting, who they are following, stuff like that. Uh, number nine is set a certain time how long your child should use. Uh, social media probably maybe an hour 30 minutes don't make it an hour also monitor number 10 is monitor your child 24 7 when using social media because you don't know you know you leave them for an hour you know they might sneak out and try to get the phone and start using social media so this was according to www.pinegrovedaycamp.com so thank you. This concludes my speech. Thank you.